كان دي لندرولود هدية ستار وورز وهنسا سيهنا شي مستقصية فوق الكاريرات ياو هاي هلو هلو هاو اريو I'm good um, So I'm gonna ask you some questions okay about your career Sure Okay um, What role have you done in Star Wars? I played one of the Naboo Federation soldiers and I was the stand-in stunt double for Ki Gon Jin in Star Wars Phantom Menace Episode 1. That looks amazing. Um, what type of training have you done? To um, I've done lots of stage combat uh, at drama school and I've done a BADA stage combat and fighting certificate which does a lot of weapons and unarmed fight styles for different things in theatre, film and television. It's really interesting, right? Um, the cameraman told me um, that you are a very funny guy. Um, <laughs> um, do you have any plan to do um, any comedy? Um, not directly, but I have done quite a few, because they are fun to do, as you can imagine. Well, I've just done Back to the Future, and that was quite funny. Playing the mad professor, Doc Brown, so... Great Scott! Oh my God! Um, what projects have you done in the past? Uh, oh dear, loads. Um, I've worked on films like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, um, Third Contact. I've done a lot of musicals in back in Britain, like West Side Story, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I've done Shakespeare, uh, Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, Taming of the Shrew. Classic American plays like View from the Bridge, Baby Doll, um, and television shows um, such as EastEnders, Top Boy, Murphy's Law, um, to name but a few. Um, so you sing as well? I do a bit, yeah. And I dance a bit too. <laughs> it comes in handy with the fighting, yeah. <laughs> I was always a fan of Gene Kelly because Gene Kelly could always do both. I thought that's a good idea, yeah. And Gene Kelly worked loads and got very famous, and I thought, well, that's, that's a good way to follow. So. Um, and the future programs on your mind? Um, not directly. There's a couple of things I've been up for. But. Okay, then. Um, can you teach us how to fight like a Jedi? A Jedi. A Jedi. A Jedi. Is that the Maltese version of a Jedi? Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, it's the Maltese version of a Jedi. A Jedi. <laughs> Um, yeah, what do you want to know? You want me to show you? Yes. Okay, right. Jida. Specialist Jida training. Right hand again. Right hand of the hills. Left hand of the knees. Right start with each position there. Check out the position. Like so. Yeah, I'm not being wrong. You're making sure you're not. And then one of the important things that people seem to get wrong is basically a foot position. So you can lift forward and right foot back. Hold it there and check your position by bouncing. Just gently, very gently bouncing the spot. The reason being is to make sure that you're not overbalancing and you feel in the right place. Because the idea is that you're going to move it. So if you can move straight through, on, and right here. So just check that there. Turn your foot slightly.
So imagine, yeah. So bit of choreography I do moves from the film is we go to cut my arm here. Right, go to cut my arm here. And I block with it. Try, this is where your feet position is important. Do your feet like that. Yeah, turn that one out. It used to be about two foot four, Charlie. Step into it if it's easier. You just move the back foot and do it like that. So if I stand here, right, step forward and cut my arm, and I'll block it. And then what I'll do is I'll push you away and I'll attack it. But when you return it this way, so I'm going to go, she does specialist training move here. So go to, go to attack me. Watch. That block, when I come round to attack you, I'm going for the leg. That's it, you're moving the position. You're moving the to the position. And then what you can do is a good move from there. Right? This is lift my lift my leg. She's having fun. She'd be the next Jedi.
you don't have to do a lot of work. That's the whole thing about steroids. I'm exaggerating. I'm just saying. Keep that foot turned out. That's it. Right? So, you're on the top. Don't come up. Look. Push away. Leg. Put me over. Put my head. Good. Nearly. Nearly spot on. When you go from my head, make it more of a definite cut. Because what you've done is you've taken my blade over. Let me show you the slow motion. You've taken my blade over. You've taken my blade over. You've taken my blade over to there. So you're now going to attack here. Yeah. So if you go to attack, so from there, right, from there, the nice move, the nice move is from there, you come up and around to attack like that. And it's there, look, there's no move, yeah, because well, you're there, your blade's on top of mine, so you've got the advantage. You just bring your hand around to come and cut my head. And that means I've got to come up to stop that. But the idea is, so it doesn't cross the place. I can still see it. And from a filming point of view, that looks very nice, doesn't it? Beautiful. Because then you can see the actors telling the story of the fight. I do. I haven't seen a lot of it yet, but I do like the look of it. I look forward to seeing a lot more of it. What do you recommend? Um, go to the, the Saint Cathedral, uh, to the Cathedral called. It's really amazing, and they, yeah. yes, um, it's a big church, yeah. but it's really amazing. Right, Saint Cathedral. Saint Medina. Sounds great. Anything else? Any beaches? In the beaches, um, Saint George's Bay, mm -hmm. Paradise Bay. They're amazing. Adira and Dain Tofia, huh? Okay. St. George's Bay and Paradise Bay. Even Shneina. Yeah. Can you do Jedi Fighter on the beach? You think so, yeah. You could do. You think so, you could. Yeah, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'd like that. Jedi fighting on the beach in Malta, the new thing that's happening. Or in the water. In underwater. Dolphin, maybe. Enough. Cut. Thank you. <laughs>